Prior to the passage of the Federal Interstate Highway Bill, EMS in rural areas was pretty much a matter of chance. Police officers and other motorists were almost always the first responders, with ambulance service provided by the local funeral parlor. On-scene treatment of victims was virtually unknown until after the Korean War. Returning military medics knew that paramedic treatment saved lives. When hired as firefighters, they pioneered the programs that eventually made fire departments the primary providers of emergency medical service. Fortunately, road speeds in the 1930s and 40s were slower, and the cars seemed to have contained a lot more steel than those of today. While the load-and-go protocol now seems prehistoric, credit must be given to the ordinary citizens who stopped, helped, and saved lives. Now you know why your mother told you to always wear clean underwear.